Hi folks, Coach Cyril here, uh, Strong Together Fitness Chelsea, and we're gonna talk about the movements that are included in our pull-up progression. A lot of people wanna get pull-ups. It's a very important goal for a lot of people. It's awesome. And uh, we have a whole progression that's going to help you get your first pull-up or get better at pull-ups if you already have pull-ups. This is on our blog. You just click on it. It's a PDF. You can download it, uh, print it off. Uh, if you have any questions, obviously, come in, ask a coach. We're happy to help you uh, here at the box anytime. But I'm going to go through the movements so you can watch these on your own and know how to follow along with the progression. Um, if you start off and you just can't do any of these movements, just, you know, and, and, you know, if it says seven reps and you can only do one, just, just do one, then work up to two. Uh, you don't have to do all of them, obviously, if, if it's too much, if you're finding it too much. We, you also notice that we have push-ups and core work in our pull-up progression. The reason for that is if you can't do good push-ups, strong push-ups, you're not gonna get a pull-up. If you can't do any push-ups, you're just not gonna get a pull-up. Uh, your shoulders aren't strong enough, okay? And if you can do pull-ups, you wanna strengthen your shoulders because pull-ups are very shoulder intensive. And if your shoulders aren't strong enough, you're going to injure your shoulders. So you wanna get good at pull-ups. We wanna have, a, a like in everything we do, a strong core. The stronger our core, my core is my abdomen, my abs, and my butt and my my back. Big muscles, it's my midsection. The stronger I can get this, all of these movements, push-ups, pull-ups, everything are just going to be that much better. So we want to work on our core, work on our push-ups, and that'll help us get a pull-up. All right, each time you do this, you should be warmed up. You shouldn't start doing the pull-up progression um, when you're not warmed up. So if you just went through one of the classes, you're going to be good and warmed up. Um, make sure you warm your shoulders up with the joint mobilization routine that we do. There's a link for that in the, uh, the blog. It's on our website for a whole video on how to do that. And then the uh, crossover symmetry. So you're gonna go through a crossover symmetry and then you're going to do uh, 15 to 20 PVC shoulder rollouts where I have a PVC pipe in my hands, wide grip. I'm gonna shrug my shoulders into my ears, keep my arms straight and bring that PVC pipe back. Uh, we do that in class all the time. So make sure your shoulders are well warmed up. And if not, if you're doing this outside of a regular workout, make sure you do the joint mobility, the crossover symmetry, and the uh, PVC shoulder rollouts before doing any of the pull-up progression movements. All right, the next movement, although you're not moving much because it's a dead hang, is the dead hang. I'm gonna have my hands full grip on that bar. I always want a full grip on that pull-up bar. Unless you're an elite athlete and you got pull-ups and you can string them together and you're strong enough to hang on the bar. And even then, for safety's sake, I always like people to have a full grip on the bar, thumb around the bar. The more I can squeeze what's in my hands, the stronger I'm gonna be, okay? The more I can engage my core, the more muscle fibers I can engage, the easier it's gonna make those pull-ups. So, squeeze the bar, I'm going to hang in that hollow position. Toes pointed down to the ground, legs in front of the bar, activating those my lats and my shoulders, just like I'm doing a, a negative press, if you will. All right, I don't wanna be like this. I don't wanna be like this. It's much, I'm much heavier when I'm trying to hang like this than I am when I'm trying to hang like this. And I can do more pull-ups if I can master this hollow position, squeezing my shoulders into my ears, engaging my lats, than if I'm not in that position. Then we have the flexed arm hang, which is the dead hang, my arms are straight, as you get more strength, you'll be able to pull up partially, maybe not all the way over the bar, but partially up to the bar and your arms will be at some angle. Again, in that hollow position and you have a flex or a bend in your arm and you're holding that for as long as you can. That's the flex hang and dead arm hang. 